way to our friend's house. She was renting out her house and the renters decided they were just gonna leave and trash the place. So we're heading over there to help her clean it up. She's uh, She lives in Texas, so she came up here to clean up the house, so we're going over there to help her clean it up. Yay! Yeah, so this is Eric and Corey's house, and this is whose house we're over here helping clean. Look at this. Some of you guys aren't old enough to rent, but I tell you right now, if you ever, ever, if you ever rent a house, show it some respect. You know, it's some, it's still somebody's house. Even if you don't own it, you should still show it some respect. This is whole thing. Here's my thing. I see it at the gas station every day. Right. I understand that there's people that don't like to have Be glad there's no smell of vision because they were nice enough to let these people have animals and it smells like animals. Yeah. So we're here, working cleaning. Like I said, seriously, I don't know why people gotta be like this. If you rent a house, take care of it. Or an apartment, take care of it. Somebody else owns it. They're putting their trust in you to rent the place. <laughs> These people had kids, and this isn't like the house is just dirty because they moved out. They never, ever cleaned this house. We already removed some of the cobwebs. There, there were cobwebs up here. They've probably been here since the day they moved in. But no worries, we'll get it clean. Jamie's working on washing ceilings. These walls are pretty much done. And I'm in here washing this. Yuck. Yuck, yuck, yuck. We're leaving Corey's house. We're done cleaning for today. Now we're going home. And my mom and dad and my aunts are coming over and we're gonna have another barbecue. Yay. Bye, Corey's house. See you tomorrow. Jamie and Greg are setting up the our screened-in tent for the first time. This is our camping tent. We usually take it camping with us. We just got it last year, and we have never got a chance to use it. Are you figuring it out, Jamie? Sure. <laughs> this goes in here. We'll see what it looks like when it's done, if they get it done. They're still figuring it out. There's Susie and my Aunt Pat. I bet it does, yeah. I didn't hook mine in. Little Susie. Because we'll lift the whole thing up. Look, they got it up. That's really cool. It's to keep all the bugs out and put it over top of a picnic table that we don't have yet. Oh, to keep the top from going over. Hey, you did it! There's a door in the back here, too. Yeah, but it doesn't look as cool as the door in the front. <laughs> look, barbecue chicken and taco salad and dumplings. Not for you. It's not for you either. Well, maybe. Maybe after. Y'all going over to the car show then? Lawn charts. No, the federal government will come and take us away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I might have two. I don't know why they made those illegal. <laughs> Rebecca's climbing the tree. Oh. Rebecca's climbing the tree. She disappeared into the tree. We decided to come to the car show. That's the radiator overflow. Isn't that cool? That's pretty cool. Here's a nice shiny engine. Ooh. It's a pretty red car. Ooh, look a Camaro. It's pumpkin orange. Hey, that's not an old car. Ooh. That's a cool car. Look a Tempest. That's a cool car. See, I could drive one of those. Just because it's big. All these cool cars. It's the Michigan Mitten Tour car show, is what it is. That's a pretty car, too. There you go, Jamie. Buy one of those. Yeah. Ooh, look, a I Chevelle. It's not, it's, this one's older than Dad's. It's got the boxier front end. I think that means it's older. Yeah, it is. It's a convertible. Look, 
It's the Breast Cancer Awareness for Life. It's the AFL car. It has like signatures. Hey, Santa Claus autographed this car. There's all kinds of autographs on it. See, it's the Mitten Tour. They're cruising Michigan shoreline towns. How'd you like to be caught driving that? <laughs>